What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today Jocelyn and I are on this little boat here and we're doing some crappie fishing. I've never actually fished for crappie. I've never caught for crappie or I've never eaten them either. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, my buddy Danny gave me some tips. So we'll see if we can catch them. I'm gonna make sushi out of crappie. I don't know if it's gonna be good. Maybe it's good, maybe it's crappie. Another little tiny jig head with the little curly tail. So we're gonna be kind of jigging that around and trying to catch the crappie around here. I got one. Little guy. Oh, missed him. Didn't hook him. All right, cast the head back, same spot. Got one, finally. Hooked him this time. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I'm gonna just take my time because I got this two pound test line. Gotta just be patient with him. Hey, he's pretty strong. Let's see. My first crappie. Ooh, look nice. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Come on, bring him in, bring him in. No! Oh my, it just came off. Dang, that was a nice one too. That was pretty big. All right guys, so far it's been really slow. It's a really nice day at least. All right, I'm gonna get one right here, right now. No, nah, I'm the only one skunked. All right. Oh, Taku? Come on. Yeah, little guy. Oh, Taku wait a minute. Little. Taku is on. Finally. Yes. Yes. Finally. Yeah. Oh, man. Feels good, huh? Finally. Oh, my goodness. Woo. There it is. My very first crappie. Yeah. It's That's a good one. Yeah, it's nice. It's not a small one. Yeah, it's nice. It's medium size. Heck yeah. Stick him in there. What happened? You got it. Damn. Thank you, guy. <laughs> it's that weight on your chest. I'm like, am I really going to skunk before, right now? Like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got one. No way. Right next to the boat. Uh, number eight. Damn. 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 About the same size. Heck yeah. Two in a row, baby. Let's get it. That one. He's on fire right now. Three in a row. Boom. Let's go. Come on now. Taku on fire right now. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, we still got some fight in him. Ooh. Yes. Hey. Damn. Three in a row. Let's go. Three in a row. Taku. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, yes sir. Another one, four in a row. I'm on fire. Got four in a row 
on these little guys right here. Let's get it. That's a fish, another fish, let's go. Yeah, it's fighting a little harder. Woo. No way. Catfish. Catfish. <laughs> Is it foul hooked? <laughs> I think I'm gonna let him go, because I foul hooked him. Peace out, buddy. Have a, have a nice one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's wishing me good luck. Oh, I told you. Oh my god. <laughs> right when I Thank you, doggy. This one's for you, doggy. He told me it was here. <laughs> Taco fish on again. Number fish number six. Seven. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 14. Yeah, since I started catching, nobody else has caught one. No. <laughs> it's just been all me. She is bad luck. She was <laughs> Dang, this one's beast. Danny with a nice one. Dang, that's big. Flip that open. That is big. I'm on again. I yeah. got one too, buddies. Oh. oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I think mine's bigger, dude. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? Oh, <laughs> you know what? He's right, the dog's right. <laughs> well, we've been laughing because every time the dogs come out and bark, we catch them and we hook up. up. And now, we're back and I'm gonna cook these crappie. And I'm gonna make something you've never seen made with crappie. I'll make some sushi. Let's do it, why not, right? <laughs> it's spawning time for them, which means that they have a bunch of eggs in there. Oh, look at that, this one is nice and bright. And these are edible too. I got a pot of rice in here. So just like always, high heat to begin with for 10 minutes and then 10 minutes on simmer, tiny, tiny heat, and 10 minutes off the heat. So I'm gonna teach Luis here how to fillet, and he's filleted a few fish, but let's see if I can get him to um, fillet even better. Few, always a few different ways to fillet. Uh, with this one, the easiest way is gonna be first cutting the head off. All right, make sure to wipe your board. Try to keep it clean and not so wet so the fish doesn't slide around. The first cut is just gonna be along this back all the way down. Just slicing it through the skin, that's it. No further than that. That's it, right there. Flatten my knife so it's parallel with the board. Mm -hmm. And cut into the meat and I'm putting pressure downwards. So it's like putting it, like pushing the board down like this. So now I feel, I can feel the bones and you'll hear it too. See that? So, you see that, right? So now it's right on top of the bones. So when you put the pressure down, you can scrape off all that meat off the bone. Now I'm gonna climb up the spine a little, because it's like, acts like a speed bump. That's how I think of it. So when you, so you can scrape up a little bit on it. So you expose the, pretty much the whole Spine, yeah, because you can't just go straight, yeah, because that's bone. So just one time like that, opens opens up the skin. Now you're gonna go into it. Same exact thing, putting pressure downwards. There you have it, right? Now I'm gonna climb up the spine again. And now you can kind of see the hole right through the fish. Yeah. Yeah. So now you put the knife all the way through. Hold the tail with the towel so it doesn't slip. Should be able to cut right through that rib cage like that. Cut the tail off, and then you fillet. Look at that. Yeah. And then same thing on the other side.
Alright. First thing, uh, go head off. Yep. Can I give it the smack? Yeah. There you go. That's good. There you go. There you go. That's good. Get out. Okay. Cut. So it's going to be right above the center. Right here. Yeah. And slice, slice. Yeah, just slice the skin off. That's it. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Knife parallel here? Parallel to the board. And you're going to just pre pressure downwards. Yep, yep, yep. You got it. Yeah. That's good. You can lift that a little. Hit the speed bump right in the middle. That's right. Hit the speed bump. There we go. And go over that speed bump to the top of the speed bump. Hold it by the tail. Hold on. Are you left-handed? No. Like this. So it's your your arms are kind of crossing. No. Yeah. Left hand on, right hand on the knife, and it's gonna be like. Ah. So here. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You good? Yep. Perfect, dude. Got him. Still. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. There we go. Nice, dude. That's a good... Hey, not too bad. Look at that. Yeah. It's way better. Alright, welcome to Outdoor Chef Life. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to Outdoor Chef Class right here. Outdoor Chef Class. That's what it is. Yeah. There All you right. go. That'll give you a good Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was uh, playing a bunch of these yesterday because we had them for dinner. Uh, if you guys want to see that, we made some fish tacos. That'll be on his channel, Fishing Failure. Check it out. Yeah. But yeah, that was like, all right, I think you need a yeah. lesson, buddy. <laughs> all right, I recommend Chef Taku Lessons, five stars on Yelp. Check them out. So the plan is this. I'm going to steam all the meat of this crappie, and then I'm going to just smash it up into almost like close to a paste almost. And then I'm going to mix a bunch of sriracha in there, sesame oil, some chili flakes, uh, some green onions, and then I'm going to make it, I'm going to try to make it taste like spicy tuna. All right, so that's the kind of the goal. Spicy tuna out of crappie, spicy crappie rolls. And I'm just gonna lay this fish down on my maki su. <laughs> oh, you know what? I wanna keep a few for the fry. Some nice rice, sushi rice vinegar, but it's just powdered. So, you know, if you have a hard time making sushi rice, it gets all mushy, just go ahead and use this much easier and much uh, more practical for home sushi, you know? Mm, I like the smell of sushi rice. Look at him practicing away over there. Ooh. Nice little fillet. Close to the bones. There you go. Yeah. Getting way better. That's where chef school is really paying off. <laughs> yeah, tuition's due. Hey, Taco, can I eat this? No, 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 oh. no. Never eat freshwater fish raw, all right? So it's different, even if there are no parasites in freshwater fish, freshwater carries a lot more bacteria. Mm. So, in bacteria, you cannot see with your eyes. So, don't eat freshwater fish raw. You saved me. Thanks, man. You're welcome. You're saving lives <laughs> over here. <laughs> So I'm gonna just uh, put this in the fridge, let it cool down. There we go, frying up some garlic chips here. Okay, here go the eggs. Okay, 
perfect golden brown. I have these beautiful perilla leaves. Green on one side, purple on the other. So I'm gonna fry these up as well. Tempura batter, just dip it, dip in one side, just like that. That's fine. Now we're just gonna construct the sushi. Let me just cut this open. Look at that. That's the egg. I'm gonna make futomaki, shiny side down, rough side up, about three, two thirds of the way up, and just roll the rice all the way down. Place it right in the middle, a couple pieces of cucumber, and all you're gonna do, we're just gonna roll it over. <laughs> and there you go. Eggs. I'm gonna make that into a roll as well. <laughs> Spicy crappie. You know, I'll just use this. I don't see why not. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this spicy crappie and top it. There you go guys, here's my crappie sushi. Spicy crappie roll, this one is the fried tempura crappie roll and the tempura crappie egg roll. Look at that, ube milkshake IPA, all done. Looks delicious. Crappie sushi. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> crappie sushi. Crappie sushi. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with the middle one first. Take like the back one. Spicy tuna or spicy crappie roll. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Hey. No, it's not bad. The texture is very flaky. Um, so I wouldn't say it's like... I was trying to go for like spicy tuna, so it's not like the same texture because it's very, I mean, it's very flaky. So it has almost a crab-like flake, but a little more fine. Uh, but that's good. What do you think of, of yours? Those remind me of pro crab. One. The 10 Pro one? Definitely reminds me a little bit of crab. Yeah. Um, yeah, not quite as spicy as spicy tuna, but yeah. it's good. I need to try the egg, man. This is the egg, the roe. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for the egg. <laughs> <laughs> the egg was good? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, the egg is good. Come and try this, guys. Try my crappie sushi. Thank you. Tell me if it's. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, give it. That's the egg that has the. Um, crappie egg in there okay. with the uh, spicy crappie on top. Mm, thank you. That one's good. Sure. What do you think of that? That's good. That's good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I like the egg. <laughs> it's really good. This is good. Ube Milkshake IPA. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Troy. Mm -hmm. The garlic, man. You think it's a the, the, mm -hmm. tea? Mm -hmm. Is that one? Good garlic. I'll make some more. Just had to do the taste test for the camera. 
So, last one. Go ahead. Last one. I'll take it. All right, whoo, Danny, thanks for bringing us out here. Appreciate it, as always. No problem. It's my, my go-to hookup right here. <laughs> All right. Not always, not always perfection on the line, <laughs> yeah. but we get it done. Yeah. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace.